Omar, California. Dr. Jeff Barkey, welcome to the Larry Elder Show. Thanks for, thanks for having me. Great to be with you this evening. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, there's, there's so many questions that I have for you that is, uh, that is unreal. Uh, uh, you come highly recommended. So I look, for, uh, I look forward to this conversation. For one, we just had a caller on the line uh, that was agreeing with me on some facets of, of the virus. But right, one, of the, one of his disagreements were uh, masking kids. He felt like we should mask kids. What is your opinion on that? Well, you know, it, hey, keep in mind that the last time I was on the Larry Elder show, I think I held the distinction for getting Larry banned from YouTube for a week. So you sure you, really? sure you want to go down this road? Let's go for the gusto, Doc. <laughs> Here's the reality. Listen, we've known about the science of masking for decades. This is not new. Every healthcare agency told us that we should not be masking uh, adults and children, by the way. That includes the National Institute of Health. Uh, the New England Journal of Medicine, Dr. Fauci himself, the CDC, the World Health Organization, and on and on. They all told us in the early stages of the pandemic that masking offers little, if any, protection. Now when we fast forward to children, the opposite is actually true. That is, masks directly harm children. COVID does not. Look at the own, the, our own CDC's data, not Barkey's data, but the CDC's data. There's been only about 350 deaths of children throughout COVID-19, and almost every single one of those kids has significant underlying illness, cancer, leukemia, obesity, and others. So COVID poses almost no risk to children, masks pose a massive risk for children. Increased anxiety, depression, learning disorders, suicidal ideation, um, and just the abil- inability to bond with your teacher, especially with a young child, because your face is covered, and that's how human beings communicate, through facial expression. It is wrong to mask a child. In my opinion, it is a form of child abuse to do so. Are there any, I mean, are, are, are there any health complications associated with children wearing masks? I mean, obviously kids play in dirt and mud and all this bacteria, I'm assuming, would grab their, their, their mask and all that. Is that a danger to kids? I mean, it, 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 it seems it is to a me. a danger to kids. There, there's a group of moms out of Florida. It's been, I think, about three, maybe four weeks ago. And they decided to take the mask that their kids were wearing for several hours and send it to a local laboratory. And that lab grew out pathogenic bacteria inside the mask. Kids don't know how to wear a mask, even if it's uh, unhelpful. Uh, they often exchange masks. Um, It slips down over their chin. They get sweaty. They can't breathe. And then there was a study out of um, JAMA Pediatrics. It was pulled because of political pressure that showed only after a few minutes of wearing a mask in a child does dangerous levels of uh, CO2 uh, occur. So masks are dangerous for children physically, and they are dramatically harmful to children psychologically. In my opinion, I know this is a strong statement, no parent should send their kids to a government school that mandates masks, period. Wow, that is a strong statement, but I do not disagree with you. Uh, let's talk this this mRNA uh, vaccine, if you will, if you can call this a vaccine, because they're already talking about booster shots. So typically you take a vaccine and you're good to go for apparently a lifetime. That isn't the case with these uh, vaccines, what what's your general take on Pfizer, Moderna, J and J? Your your take on the vaccines in general? Well, listen. If we look out of Israel, where they are, where they massively vaccinated their entire population, something like eighty five percent of the Israeli population is vaccinated. They used exclusively the Pfizer vaccine. That seventy five percent of all hospitalizations right now, as we speak, in Israel for COVID or people that were previously vaccinated. We're seeing that now here in the United States. I got a phone call today from a patient who is fully vaccinated that has now come down with pretty severe symptoms of COVID. The vaccine simply is not offering the protection as advertised. And so, listen, if you want to make a decision and vaccinate, I have no problem with that. You should make it 
in an informed way, understanding what are the risks, what are the benefits, and you should, certainly can go for it. But under no circumstances should we be mandating a vaccine, especially one that isn't even FDA approved. It's still being used under emergency use authorization. It is an investigational vaccine. We're showing that it has little efficacy against the Delta variant. So vaccine, vaccinate if you want, but under no circumstances should we be mandating this vaccine for healthcare workers, for military people, for our own hardworking, patriotic border, border patrol agents. I mean, think about this for a minute. We're going to mandate border, border patrol get vaccinated while we allow illegal immigrants to come across the border and we're not even testing them. What's wrong with that picture? And we and we're putting them up in different hotels uh, in Texas and different parts of the country. Uh, is I mean, this is this is absolutely insane. Uh, what uh, what we're seeing, you know, I, I wonder I wonder about this. And we're talking to uh, Dr. Jeff Barkey. Um, I I'm wondering about the as far as the vaccines are concerned is. A, a lot of the messaging, the problem from Fauci, the the CDC, uh, because perhaps a lot of these people that are taking the vaccine just think, hey, I take one of these vaccines. I'm fine for God knows how long. Uh, do you think the messaging has a big part to to play with perhaps what we're seeing now? A lot of people that do that have been vaccinated are catching the virus yet again. Or is it just strictly the vaccine is just just lacks efficacy. Oh, no, not absolutely not. You know, what, what's happening is we have a super spreader of misinformation going on from the top. Um, Man, I like you, that. I'm going to steal that, Doc. Super spreader you, you, of it's misinformation. All, it's, 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 all, it's all yours. When you hear Dr. Fauci, when you hear um, uh, Rochelle Walensky, the head of the CDC, and even Joe Biden, President Biden, say things like this is a uh, this is a pandemic um, of the unvaccinated. That just simply is false. It's in, it's absolutely incorrect. You hear statistics, something like, you know, 98 percent of new cases are in the unvaccinated. Well, th- those are numbers. Those are statistics that were taken January through like April or May. This is when we didn't even have the vaccine out and it was just barely rolling out. So you look at statistics from earlier in the year. And of course, all the people that got ill were unvaccinated because we had barely even started vaccinating. So um, those are old statistics. They're not accurate. This is not a pandemic of the unvaccinated. As a matter of fact, I believe, and many scientists believe, including epidemiologists and virologists, that it is the massive vaccination campaign in the middle of the pandemic that is creating these variants. Um, because Wow. These, wait a uh, minute. Wait a minute. All right, Doc, you're going to have to stick. We only got a 50 seconds be, be, before the break. Please repeat what you just said. We'll have to get into to that after the break, but please repeat it for the sake of the audience. The, the variance, in my opinion, and the opinion of many virologists that I've spoken with and epidemiologists, it's because we are massively vaccinating in the middle of the pandemic that we are unnecessarily creating these various variants that are coming out, including the Delta variant. And we can talk more about it after the break and explain it in a way that I think will be very easy to understand. So over vaccination, 10 seconds, perhaps over vaccination. I can't wait to get in this. All right. Let's do it. Let's- we're speaking to Dr. Jeff Barkey. Please don't go anywhere. The number to call in, 888-971-7243. Carl Jackson in for Larry Elder. We'll be back. I didn't use them up. I threw them out.